Hey everybody, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I know I said in my last video that the following, this video, my next video, would be assembly, but I forgot I needed to test things. So I'm waiting around for some parts to get here so I can get accurate testing done. Um, getting a Variac and a high voltage uh, supply, power supply. So I'm just going to walk you through what I've done so far. <clears throat> so in the last video I was telling you that I wanted to use three electron extraction grids and I wanted to show you how I made those. I got 400 mesh screen and aerators. These are the aerators. I used two aerators and then cut the 400 mesh into circles the same size and sandwiched them together so that the aerators are on both sides of the 400 mesh and I stapled that together and soldered the water the wire to the staple and that creates a really good electron uh, extraction grid um, and once I had all these three connected as you'll see in some in the next pictures I was still able to push air through that so here's the close-up and one thing I wanted to make note of, uh, one aerator is uh, this way and the back side is the opposite at opposing angles so that you get as much exposure as possible. So here's my nylon cut out and I uh, countersunk the center here with a different type of hole drill uh, the same size as this so that's all this picture shows the next one I took those and used my Dremel grinder wheel to cut a notch in all three of these for that wire there and there you can see it sitting nicely in there nice and flat I then hot glued the wire and you can see these are setting up uh, so that that would remain in place. Then I went ahead and hot glued the screen in place on all three. Then I siliconed all three of those sections together and clamped them overnight with the wires all facing the same direction. There you can see the next day it's all stuck together. I did that to uh, make sure that everything was sealed. Then I twisted all the wires together, soldered it, cut the other two strands off, and I'm left with just one strand of two wires. I also drilled a hole and tapped that, and then put my wire in the hole. That's just another angle. Now, I couldn't find, I didn't have any access to a milling machine. I asked friends, I went around town and uh, asked machine shops if they could do this for me but they couldn't so this is my setup I just clamped a uh, 90 degree V uh, what do you call that iron bar we'll just call it that V iron <laughs> and then um, clamped my Dremel in place and just slid my uh, stainless steel pipe along once I had it marked off and uh, was able to cut those out. Here you can see the finished slot design. It's a little jagged, but it's done. Um, that's another view of the same thing. How jagged it is. This is uh, after I cleaned it up a little bit. You can see those edges are a little bit smoother. Um, this was with files and rasps just trying to clean all those edges up same thing this is after sandblasting after it was after I got the big stuff off I went ahead and sandblasted it so that I'd get it even finer and I wanted to show you um, what I plan on doing with this I purchased these off eBay 
they're each a different color, uh, red, green, blue, and white. And I made some modifications, but basically this is what they are now. Um, and they fit perfectly right in here, so I'm going to show you that. That's just showing you the different colors. This is with them inside the slots and looking down one end of the pipe. That's how it's going to be and that wire is going to be suspended right through the middle there so that you'll have uh, full exposure of four different bands of light. I also wanted to show you my spiral design. I had enough tubing left over. Uh, my clear tubing was long enough for me to cut it in half and have enough for two different designs so I went ahead and marked it off and uh, cut a spiral out and did the same thing, used files and rasps cleaned up those jagged edges oh this is just a picture of uh, how many Dremel grinder wheels I went through <laughs> It must have been at least 20. There's a picture of them side by side. They're the same length, approximately 6 inches, just under 6 inches. And yeah, just to show the different designs. This is not what it's going to look like. Um, in the last video, I showed you how I'm going to, you're not going to be able to see this. I'm going to have the RBG strip. Um, in this section here, so that will cover the pipe, but I just wanted you to see how it looks inside the pipe. And that's it for that. Now I'll show you what I got over here. So that's that 400 mesh and the uh, aerators. And all I did was cut that into a circle, sandwich them together like that, and Bam. Um, got, you saw this in my last video. This is the 28 gauge galvanized wire. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not, so I got stainless steel also. And this is 0.7 millimeters. I think that's the same size Russ is using. That was the size of the drill he uh, broke. <laughs> so I went off of that. So this wire is about half that diameter. Um, we'll see what works when I get all the testing equipment available. Um, this is what I have so far for the spiral design. And I'm going to do the same setup. There's the finished end piece you saw in the pictures. There's three electron extraction grids there and the entry point for the gas. And what I did here with the 28 gauge wire was twist it together um, on that bar that we talked about in the last video. And that's how we're going to have access to it. I'll suspend through this, through the center of that. So. On both designs, we're going to have uh, the same end caps. I haven't cut them out yet for the slot design just yet. But I wanted to show you where I was at. Finally got these things cut out, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, that was my biggest hang-up. Um, and I have one of the three pieces that I need to test with. Uh, this is a 24-volt DC uh, input and it's also DC output 15 to 21,000 volts um, I'm going to use a variac to adjust that though <clears throat> so I'm just waiting on a power supply that will give me DC 24 and a variac and then we'll do some testing that's what you'll see in the next video alright take care guys